So what's up YouTubers? Today what we're going to do is uh, we're going to repair one of these uh, tweeters that are found in the Yamaha NS1000 um, uh, series speakers. These are beryllium and um, these are some of the best tweeters. Well, the Yamaha NS1000 is one of the best uh, speakers uh, ever designed. So uh, these are really worth uh, fixing. They are becoming extremely expensive, even to find a second-hand tweeter like this one. Um, and uh, unfortunately, these are really sensitive to, to amplifier clipping. Um, and usually, uh, some uh, since these are for unforgiving uh, <coughs> tweeters, uh, with the slight clipping, you know, you literally blow the tweeter up. Now. I have already um, removed the four screws by using basically the screwdriver tapping into through the mesh and uh, unscrew it they're not that difficult now <coughs> there is something that you need to be aware of Yamaha what they did was they've put an adhesive tape around from but from the backside okay which uh, fixes sort of the the magnet in place with the chassis and uh, if you do not break this uh, adhesive tape <coughs> evenly you might end up uh, destroying the coil forever so uh, what i usually do is after i took take these four screws off okay i already took this off what i will do is i will gently pry open with a screwdriver little by little okay like that like and keep on doing it uh, until literally it uh, breaks off now this one is, is already broken off so it should be easy to remove okay so we can take the magnet off and put it somewhere safe now usually the problem with these tweeters lies either here in fact if um, i cannot zoom right now because um, uh, my camera is fixed focus so um, many times these uh, tweeters <coughs> blow up from this part and usually when you touch it it literally you know the, the part of the coil the the, the the voice coil um, falls off however in this um, uh, situation <coughs> about or regarding this particular tweeter the problem wasn't here as it usually is however it was tugged in here okay now what i could see is probably when Yamaha wound the tweeters, the, the, the coil actually, okay, and uh, they've put a bend here so that they could, you know, solder and put in the adhesive tape. By the way, this is the adhesive tape that I'm referring to. And what that does is <coughs> when you have a nick in the coil, it creates a hot spot. And uh, under really high stress, that could literally, um, you know, get red hot and does burn in fact that's what happened with this one um, uh, uh, this one uh, it got burned up from this part let's see if I can make it as you can see you see this this is the part from here from where the coil actually blew so what I had to do is well, I will be doing this uh, offline okay um, I had to pry open I already did this before um, you pry open this part if uh, you see okay and gently and I mean very very gently uh, try to you know uh, pry part of the coil like I did here you see it's around here okay you see if I can get it better see and you know you pull 
a small part of the coil and uh, eventually what you can do resolder them the, the terminals together okay put in some uh, I suggest uh, some sort of uh, uh, epoxy even here because this there's a very good chance that you will damage like I did this part okay so you have to put in adhesive here as well um, very little and make sure that you do not touch the coil else you would be in a situation when uh, you would face a problem because the the coil is too thick to get into the magnet uh, you know um, slit what I suggest is I you do not you do not and I repeat you do not put in any epoxy on this part you can literally pry open open you know try to remove part of this uh, adhesive tape do the solder joint to here try to pass it before to, before try to pass it under this uh, uh, adhesive tape and uh, let this part <coughs> be uh, free running like it is in reality on this part there are actually cases um, <coughs> where you cannot actually remove this one so this uh, adhesive uh, layer tape so what I will be doing is I will be making a slot here using my very gently with my tweeters oh the, 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 my uh, tweezers and uh, sorry for my bad English but uh, you know when, try, when concentrating on these things it's not that easy to actually uh, talk in uh, not in your mother tongue you know and at the same time doing a good repair so okay I already got some uh, <coughs> uh, coil from a very bad literally completely unrepairable tweeter it's important to keep this because this is a very particular um, uh, coil. The, 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 the conductor is not actually round, but it is uh, squarish. That's why these speakers are extremely efficient. Okay, so. Now. thing looks like it is extremely fragile by the way I don't know <coughs> what's up with this coil but it's really really fragile and you have to be extremely quick and careful on doing these things now obviously this part is not something I would want to keep here so basically I will try to cut it off <coughs> and what I'll be doing is I need, need another tweezers Now, what I'll be using to cover this part up is what uh, it's called Capton tape. This is an extremely 
good um, high temperature tape and <coughs> it's very durable it's cheap and uh, this is why I use this kind of tape for these things this one is basically this cupped on tape is used to wind transformers coils you know uh, the layers between the transformer you know the the the, the, the coil and so so this is what it's used you know so what I will do is I will cut a very small part for now that's it and gently and I mean really gently put it like this okay yep that's a good one All we have to do is <coughs> solder the rest of here. Now, it's important that you have a really, really, you know, small pointed uh, soldering iron, else you would end up nuking the coil. Okay, so. Let's keep that over there for now. So to hold it in place <coughs> at the same time um, I'll power up my trusty old weller. Now we don't need a really small pointed uh, soldering iron. At the same time that's enough <coughs> so that we can test if the coil is fine. any contact for now okay so let's get the old one here good one we'll wait for it to heat up Cool, that's great. So let's check it out. Okay. So checking this thing. Okay. just about it <coughs> now what remains is the little epoxy here and uh, you know we try to put in some very little epoxy here as well yeah. okay so that's all for now 
nice evening. Uh, 